Hello and welcome back to Shining Force CD. I'm Fuzzy J. We are definitely going to continue our adventure because that's what we do. We adventure. Um, we just saved a town that had Mayfair and Stock, two more members of the Cypress Resistance, along with Claude, who helped us find them. And now we're headed out into Cypress territory. That looks important. Oh, that tower belongs to Bazo. Okay, we... The goons in the other town were talking about that guy. Oh, he's Waldo's right-hand man. Uh, he does a lot of the, his dirty work. Okay. Nick, I bet Bazo can... Bazoo. Bazoo? Yeah, Bazoo can answer some of those questions for us. Cool. All right. You know, heal and muddle. So you're basically a priest. Okay, interesting. And you're an archer, but with the movement of a centaur. All right. I need to be real careful with these guys because they're going to be pretty fragile. We got hell soldiers, brass loader. Anything along this side? No, not until we get up here. Oh, that's a new enemy. Hell Soldier, Brass Loader, Zombie. Alright. Still doesn't look like the zombie can do too much damage, but they're getting up there with... Oh, well, what's here? 15? 16? Okay. They're, they're pretty on par with the Hell Soldiers, but... If I believe... Um... Well... If it follows Shining Force tropes, zombies will be able to poison us when we at when we get attacked. There's a bunch of them, and then a Master Mage, Blaze 2. Damn. Oh, no, that's Blaze 3! Oh, okay, I gotta be careful with that. And I believe he'll be able to cast that twice, so yeah, I gotta be real careful. Oh, this priest has cheerful bread. I want to make sure I get that. And this skeleton has a steel sword. That's another excellent upgrade. Okay. Uh, are there any more flies around? Nope. Alright. Looks pretty good. I think we can just more or less make our way forward. Those hell soldiers and brass loader should come down to us. I would think. If not, I'll send a couple people over to them. No, oh, they're making their way over. Oh, they're gonna intercept there, so they hit as a squad. A single unit. Oh, there was two more flyers up in that corner. Alright, so three flyers. Gotta pay attention. Starting to get into some big battlefields. <laughs> Which is kind of neat because you can do a lot more stuff, but it's just a lot of turns of moving around and not actually accomplishing anything. Which kind of sucks. Here we can do 
build the formation. I wonder if I have to kill everybody here, or if there's a boss to this section. Nobody really stood out as being in charge, but a lot of the time they make it the mages. So it's either the mage or nobody. What I'm gonna call. All right, I got my, I got my, uh, I got my wish. That axe looks pretty awesome. Oh, and of course the fur thing. And poisoned, which I think is two or three hit points every turn. Luckily, these things don't deal a whole lot of damage. The game has been pretty easy so far. Um, that'll kind of continue up for the next two or three battles. Um, then it changes dramatically. Damn it, the what we're doing and who we're fighting will change a lot and the difficulty ramps up. I have to be more careful with what I do. He can it. Oh, the Robin's arrow has a range of three. Fantastic. Oh, that's not bad damage for, I mean, considering his level. And can I pass up burning three people? And I didn't equip you with a weapon. Right, because I moved some people items around so they don't have items equipped. Whoops. You did not receive a new item. No. You're still using a middle sword. I haven't decided if you're going to get the steel sword or if the boss man is. We'll see. Oh. Alright, well. Should be an easy kill for somebody. Uh, do you have details? You do. I should probably wait until that zombie's dead, because he may just get an attack right now and repoison me. Quickness. Awesome. Should kill. No, 12. Okay. No, 12 stole. A very respectable amount of damage. Can Bruce do better? He can. He can do 14. Sweet. Stalker Mayfair. Probably Mayfair. Because I think in the long run. Ooh, ooh, I learned boost. Oh, fantastic. Oh, now that he knows boost, he can basically just power level forever. Because you cast boost, wait a couple turns, cast boost, wait a couple turns, and he'll gain a significant amount of uh, XP every time he does it. I mean, it's probably... Oh, boost is probably... level 1 is probably only one target. So it's probably only like 15 experience. Boost 2 is where it's at. So that costs him nothing. 
Take out this health soldier. Excellent. This bright's kind of cool. It it portrays the I am um, I was somebody important at one point kind of vibe. I still didn't equip her staff. No. Attack the loader. Damn, 14. That's good. Let's get six. damage. Not enough, my friend. Not enough. Need to do better. Haha. <laughs> like Claude, he dodges. Oh no, boost is multiple. So we're just gonna cast boost. Alright. So it does the same thing as the uh, defense ring we had in the first battle. It's 16. Yeah, not great. Might be better if I hit every. if I fill that square. Oh well. her and do something silly like one shot her because she's got like nine or five defense or something silly. mutes enemies so they keep, they're unable to cast spells it doesn't remove buffs like you would think it would Dude. It's coming in pretty close Poisoned. 
or heal a hit point. <laughs> Experience. Better than sharp stick in the eye. Let's check out the zombies. They're probably the worst right now, other than the mage. Actually, skeleton. Yeah, it's got a lot of defense, but other than that, it's not too bad. Everybody, oh, zombies went dive from the end. Yeah, hit 13. I can give it a back in there because it's a zombie. I think it takes extra damage from fire. Two shots to take this thing out. And it's crazy dangerous, so I'm not gonna miss words, and I really hope this doesn't end the battle. Nope, it doesn't. Sweet. Oh, it must be the, uh. the skeleton there. Alright, well, I'm just glad the mage is dead, and it didn't get to burn any of us. Five points, wow. Okay, archers can... So, her defense must be starting to lag. <laughs> But, again, that is fair, because, you know, she's an archer, her defense shouldn't be high, and I shouldn't have put her in a position to be attacked, so that's on me. setting zombies on fire, because it's fun. Survive a hit or two. 
Wow. Alright, I'm just getting swarmed. I gotta take care of this. Luckily, lots of hit points, so... Five damage I can take a couple times before it starts being a problem. Okay, what's your ability? Eight. Are these things that slow? Yeah, they are. Okay. Take out the flyer. Wow. Sixteen points. Yes. Should be able to take this out. Yeah. Oh, so quick. Easily take it out. Burn that zombie a bit. A skeleton. That was a pretty shitty level, but that's gonna happen once we start getting over 10. It's gonna be a lot, a lot, um, a lot fewer uh, stat increments. That way you don't get too overpowered. It also is showing you, hey, you can probably do that thing that you couldn't do before because when you looked at the menu, it's like, oh, I can't promote anybody. But the game doesn't actually tell you level 10 promote people. Eleven? Mm, okay. Let's take out this thing. Oh. HP attack, defend. I say that, but his level eleven was pretty good, so I'll roll the dice, right? So flying things are weak to range. Um, wow. Shitty level up. Amazing attack. <laughs> oh, come on, zombie face. Stop doing things. Finally. Wow, she took four attacks before being poisoned? It's pretty good, actually. Um, I want her to finish this off. Level six, sweet. Pretty average level, one's across the board. Alright, and in next time, Training Force CD, we will defeat the skeleton, steal his delicious, delicious steel sword, and uh, then I think we're going to raid this castle tower. I call it a tower. That's probably... he. The dude's probably a mage, and he built a tower on a tiny island. So, I mean, at least positioning was good. Too bad he didn't have enough troops out front to defend it, but I guess that's on him. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.